Well, we've got some breaking news from overnight to tell you about. A bicyclist is in the hospital after getting hit by a pickup truck in Des Moines. KCCI's Kim St. Ange is live at the scene with more on just what happened. Kim? Elizabeth, well, that accident happened shortly after 10 o'clock last night, right here actually near this intersection of 63rd and Tyler Avenue. It happened along the northbound lanes of 63rd Street here. When I walked over there earlier this morning, I did see just a little bit of debris that seems to be still scattered on the far right side of the road. But again, that bicyclist was traveling actually with a friend. Um, on the far right side here, again, in the northbound lanes of 63rd Street when this happened late last night. Here's what we know right now. That is that a white Chevy pickup truck was driving north on 63rd Street when they hit the bicyclist. Uh, we know that one of the two people was hit. We are still waiting to learn the condition of that second bicyclist. When our crews arrived here on scene last night, they found a bike stuck under the front bumper of that truck that you can see in the video you're taking a look at right now that the truck's windshield is shattered in one of those places. At this point, though, the pickup truck's uh, name has not yet been released, but there is someone right now in the Polk County Jail that was arrested around the same time that this accident happened last night. They were charged with um, a vehicle failing to yield to a pedestrian and leaving the scene of an accident. But I have talked with police, and at this point, we have not yet been able to confirm whether or not that is the suspect in this particular accident. I also asked police about the condition of that victim, that one bicyclist who was hit. They say at this point, they're not really releasing any new information. Of course, we're going to continue following up this story and bring you the latest information as soon as we learn anything. Okay, we appreciate it. Thanks so much, Kim.